The interesting part of the brief was really around the sensitivity of the site. The site was pristine and culturally and environmentally very sensitive. So the client and ourselves are very, very keen that sensitivity to the site actually drove the design. The challenge of the site actually became the solutions. We really wanted to use the rocks that were embedded in the hillside behind. We really had to raise the building significantly out of the ground to get it safe from sea level rise and inundation. It established that we needed a plinth element. So the rock became a big part of the language of the building. We then used the rock part of the building to house the bedrooms that halve essentially the mass of the building. And then we actually filled and recontoured the dunescape around that plinth. And what it gave us at the end of the day was a very bedded piece of building in the site with the rock work and then a very lightweight pavilion. What was particularly memorable was the process and the end result of working with a whole lot of allied consultants who we had the good fortune of choosing. And they were involved in art choice, furniture choice, landscaping, and that elevated the project into what it is. In terms of the building, the main thing is around materiality and performance. We're very big on natural ventilation, so there's no air conditioning in the building. All the ventilation is done passively. The building is self-sustainable in terms of electricity and in terms of water collection. I'm mostly proud of the way the building sits in the landscape and how it feels like it's kind of always been here in a way. I'm pretty proud of quite a lot of very, very tricky details which we managed to get right with the help of Duncan Bell.